I'm Ron Horn. I'm the president of the uh, Board of Trustees at Rogersville Senior Center. We service Rogersville, which is a, actually a tri-county area of Christian County, Webster County, and Greene County. We service all three counties where we're located. We also are a cooking site, and we cook for uh, meal in Concord meals, which is in-house in meals and home-delivered meals in Rogersville, Portland, and Seymour. So we service all three of those communities. The reason for the grant, we uh, recently uh, moved into a new building there in Rogersville, which you helped us on that building too, I'm going to add. And uh, we, uh, one thing we lacked was a handicapped entrance into the building, push button uh, opener for the, for the uh, entrance into the building, and that's what we got the money for was to do that, and I believe also a uh, warming oven for the kitchen. Yeah, there I We'll certainly put it to good use, and thank the seniors of the county, thank you too. So, thank you, Mark. All right, and University of um, Missouri Extension Council for $9,087. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm Bob Schulteis, I'm the Natural Resource Engineering Specialist and County Program Director for uh, the Extension Center of Webster County. And uh, what uh, University of Missouri Extension does is we are the uh, outreach arm of the University of Missouri. We have an, uh, an office in each county in the state and our role is to provide all of the people of the county unbiased research-based information on practically any topic you can imagine. So uh, if we can't find the answer, or if we don't know the answer, we can generally find the answer for you. And uh, what we're going to use this grant for is, uh, and we've received some others in the past which have been very helpful, um, we're going to use this one to upgrade the uh, concrete walkways around the building to make the building that we have more handicap accessible. We're going to raise the porch uh, so everything is, is walk in instead of step up. And it solves <laughs> tripping hazards, flooding problems that we have around the building as well. And it's also going to replace a couple laptop computers that, are, that we have that are very old that uh, we do programming with around the county. So uh, this is going to be really well used and oh, also a digital camera is in there. Our last one died and so <laughs> <laughs> we're working right. with about a 10 year old digital camera yeah, so this will help a lot. Great. Thanks very Great. much. Yeah. I'd love to ask if anyone has any questions as we go along. I know I threw one out early but if anyone has any feel free to, to ask a question. We all want to know uh, a lot more about all the programs so that's great. Okay, Webster County Pantry for $10,000. Well, I'm Jerry Neal. I'm the director of the pantry here in Webster County, and uh, we serve all the county right now. And what we're going to use these funds for, we're just finishing up a brand new building. Hopefully, we're going to be in it by December 1st. I'm working with local contractors, though, so keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> but. Uh, what we applied for this grant for was to, when I initially figured the building cost, I didn't figure the gravel parking lot, I figured let's get, let's get the building up and get in it. So this will be used for gravel, plus the concrete work to make our sidewalk and stuff coming in the building, which is going to be handicapped accessible sidewalk. And I got to think about this on the real real And And the other half is to, is to move our fr fr coolers, freezers, and doors, or outdoors right now. And I got to think about this on the real reason. Well, over the years, you guys bought all three of them coolers. Now you get to move them. <laughs> the only downside to that is we're hoping they're going to use less electricity. So that's our only downside on that project. So, uh, but uh, yeah, it, uh, we're 100 volunteers. We've got several volunteers here tonight that work at the pantry, and uh, we just the need is is mind-boggling. That's why we had to build a new building because of. We're going to take the old building and turn it into strictly furniture and clothes. It's just the economy hasn't improved like we think it should. So thank you very much. And the Vivian Stewart Memorial Library for $5,496. Okay, who's the spokesperson? I'm seeing fingers being pointed. <laughs> I don't have no speech. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. You can just tell us a little bit about it, okay. how you feel about it. My so. name's Jim Day, and we've been there for two years, and it's been relatively successful. And 
And this here is for energy conservation in the front. The old glass is letting in a lot of cold air. And so we're going to use this to improve that. And we have gotten along real good, and we've had some nice help from the community. And, and we hope we've served the community, uh, community well. Very good. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs>